Today I'm gonna take a stick and I'm gonna take some rope and we're gonna make something really cool. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker, Bushcraft. That's right, stick and rope, and we're gonna make something cool. But first, before we get to something cool, I got a little story to tell everybody that I laugh about all the time. I tell people at classes, they get a kick out of it. Um, so if you notice in a lot of my videos, the ends of my paracord are generally all frayed apart. And um, I sort of do that for a reason, I'll admit it. A few years ago during a video, I came to my school property, and I want to shoot this video. I went back to the yurt. I only had my haversack and I forgot my knife. Like, can you believe that? I forgot my knife. So here's what happens. I pull out all this paracord and I had to cut it into small sections. I didn't have a knife. So I literally grind the paracord against the edge of a rock and cut it, it is demolished. So I'm like, ah, no big deal, because it had nothing to do with the video. The video had to do with like the middle section of the paracord. I do the video. People went berserk in the comments that um, I don't know that you can melt the ends so they don't fray. So that got me thinking, well, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna burn the ends anymore. On purpose, on videos, just to make people get crazy. To this day, I'll do a video with a, a frayed end and we get emails and it's in the comments, do you know that you can burn the ends and they won't fray? I can't believe you don't know that. How don't you know that? I do, I'm just doing it to amp people up. So if you see the paracord on the end, I know, I probably shouldn't do that, but I do. So that's why the ends of my paracord a lot are like that. The other reason, part of the reason, if I'm in a hurry and I pull it off the hank, okay, because I normally have it hanked up just like uh, we do a ridge line, and I cut it, the end that's left, I don't take time to burn, I just put a knot in like this, stop the fraying then I go back depending on the project the next time I cut it I might do it or not so it just doesn't bother me that much all right so to, on to today's project now this is a project that I have done in the past so if you are like an OG of this channel okay you have probably seen this but I think it's so important I think we do it again and that is that in wet weather I was gonna say this time of the year but it's all times of the year okay specifically winter when the snows and then the snow starts to melt we don't want to take our backpacks and like plop, plop them down in the wet if we don't have to, or if we're working up, doing something higher up, why not just hang our backpacks? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. How to actually hang our backpacks up so they're not laying on the ground. You're gonna need a stick, you're gonna need a hank of bank line or paracord, whatever one you choose. It can be any kind of rope. It doesn't have to be, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be either one of those, anything. First thing you're gonna do is tie a loop, a non-slipping loop, which we refer to in this world as a bowline knot, right? So a bowline on one end, and then you are gonna do this. You're gonna find a tree that you wanna hang your gear on. You're gonna take your bowline, you're gonna take your cut end, and you're gonna just do this. You're just gonna do that, and this rope's hanging there. There's more, there's more. Okay, so thumbs down, because our bag is gonna get wet, okay? What you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab with your four fingers, and then you are going to say, hey, thumbs up. This is awesome that my bag can now hang up. Now at this point, what you're going to do is you're gonna open up your hand, okay, so thumbs up, open up my hand, stick my thumb through and eat up, eat upward and pull through. That is going to create this right here, okay, a loop. Stick the stick, whoop, stick the stick in the loop. So it looks just like that. Again, you might be thinking at this point, this nonsense, is it over? Yes, because now we can take our backpack and put our straps on it the same as we would wear it, just like this, and guess what's gonna happen? Our bag is going to hang. Now our bag's up off the ground. It's easy, it's a great camp trick. We teach it at our kids' class, we teach it at, I think, all our bushcraft classes, we teach it in the survival class, because it's so convenient with just a little piece of rope and a stick. And it makes life easy. These things are all over the place at classes, they work great. We as instructors use them all the time. Perfect. 
So if you like that tip, hit the subscribe button below because that's today's video. Now, if you're wondering about this backpack or the backpack I had in the other video the other day, there are new backpacks we're coming out with. They are sweet, really nice. Um, these are the like original prototypes of them, so they're even more refined than this. Look, it's so nice, right? This is literally like my version of the Boy Scout Yucca Pack, and it is, it's awesome. So uh, they'll be coming out here very shortly, but until then, keep your old pack nice. Well, actually, throw your old pack in the mud, step on it, destroy it, give you another reason to buy one of these cool packs. But that that's besides the fact. The fact is, go out and try this with whatever you have. Great tool for in the woods. And uh, I think that's it. So check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.